Yo, it's Christian out of the Forerunners, also with Jahazo and Tiz. And yo, the album's coming out soon. Stay posted for that. And um, know that I do not conform to this world. Yeah, in um, Romans 8, it talks about um, being predestined to be conformed to the image of Christ. Um, and obviously, a lot of us like to scream, I don't conform to this world, I'm not conformed, I'm not conformed. Like, everyone's a non conformist, or claims to be at least. And, um, but for the believer, it's not supposed to just end there. Like, you're supposed to do something with, you're supposed to be conformed to the image of Christ. So, while you're being conformed to the image of God, Jesus Christ, like, you're not, it's not possible to be conformed to the image of the world as well. If we're going to be conformed to the image of Christ, we need to find out what Christ was like. And you've got to find that out. For you, it's, it's your responsibility. So we need to find out what Jesus was like. And we find out what Jesus was like from the Bible. Anything else about Jesus, I'm not really interested in hearing. If it's not from the scriptures, it's just opinion. So read the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Read the parts that are in red. Find out what Jesus got angry at. Find out what Jesus was really pleased about. Um, you, you find out what he opposed. You find out what he stood for. And um, a lot of it you can see that. You can probably sum up Jesus in... In Jesus' mission, basically, in Jesus came to serve. Like, that kind of will pretty much, yeah. He came to serve his people. He came, um, came to lay his life down for his bride, which is the church. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, to seek and save the lost. Jesus was always doing something, serving the people. He wasn't going around demanding worship. He was always serving people. So if you're being conformed to the image of Christ, you'll be doing the same thing. It's serving his people. What did he say to Peter when he asked Peter, Peter, do you love me? Three times. And he said, yeah. And he, the, the response each time was, if you love me, feed my sheep. If you love me, feed my sheep. If you love me, feed my sheep. In other words, serve the people. Um, if you're a believer, and you, you're being, if you're a believer, you have to be being conformed to the image of Christ. That's, that's basic. So that's what you should be doing. You should be serving the people. And a lot of this stuff is done away from the flashing lights. It's not jumping on a mic or hosting events and all that kind of stuff that we praise. Um, a lot of it is done behind the scenes, where no one sees, where no one claps, a lot of the time where no one really cares other than God. I think, there's a, I think it's a story in Matthew where um, it's, they're standing before the Lord at, at judgment and it's like, um, it's like, when I was hungry, you fed me. When I needed shelter, you hurt me. When I was naked, you clothed me. You know what, you know what I'm saying? You know that story? And it's like, Jesus, when did we do any of this for you? It's like, as much as you've done it for the least of these, like when you've done it to the poor, when you've done it to the people who needed it, you've done it for me. God, God don't need anything from us. We can't do nothing for God. He's self-sufficient. We serve God by serving his people. So my challenge to everyone is to get involved, do something. Whether that's in your church, whether it's just going out and spreading the gospel or helping a poor person. Do you know what I'm saying? Don't aim for the big flashing lights and all that stuff. Just, do you know what I'm saying? The day-by-day -day basic needs that you can meet. Serve people. That says so much more than... A lot of the stuff it, it, it actually speaks the loudest so being conformed to christ and you're not conformed to this world get involved start serving